You know when a hotel just feels right? When you really don't have to worry about anything? That's exactly how I felt during my recent stay at the Hotel Zachary. This is a Marriott Tribute Collection Hotel, which is located in the Wrigleyville neighborhood of Chicago's North Side, right across the street from Wrigley Field. Whether you're in town to attend a Chicago Cubs baseball game, experience the lake, or the city's diverse food scene, this hotel is a fantastic retreat. Hi, I'm Michael. Join me for a stay at the Hotel Zachary. I had such a relaxing stay at this hotel in the heart of the Windy City. When looking for hotels for business travel or leisure travel, I tend to prioritize location proximity to what I'll be doing as well as the amenities. This hotel checks all the boxes. The hotel opened in 2018 at the corner of Clark and Addison, across the street from Wrigley Field, the home of the Chicago Cubs. The hotel is named after Zachary Taylor Davis, a famed Chicago architect and one of the visionaries of the famed Wrigley Field. The hotel prides itself on having an authentic neighborhood style, combining a vibrant, modern aesthetic with classical elements. If you didn't know beforehand that this hotel was across the street from one of the most famous stadiums in the world, you might be a bit confused at first with the theming. There are reminders of the famed ballpark all throughout the hotel, mixed in with the tasteful, mixed modern and classic style touches. Check-in is on the second floor adjacent to the great room. By day, this room hosts morning breakfast and is a quiet escape from the city streets. By night, a DJ serves up sets for the crowd at the bar. We ate breakfast here a couple of the mornings during our stay. The food offerings were basically the same each day, with the food offered a la carte on weekdays and served buffet style on the weekends. The hotel hosts an afternoon tea in this room on Sundays. This calendar shows all the events at the hotel and in the Wrigleyville area for the month. We're staying on the fifth floor. The room itself has a large, nearly floor to ceiling window. This room faced west, so I didn't get to have the stadium view. However, being on the back of the building, I'm sure cut down on the street noise because we couldn't hear really anything from the outside. There's plenty of storage and space for us to not feel overcrowded. There were these nice robes hanging in the bathroom with a set of soft towels. The walls are adorned with baseball themed artwork, keeping the overall theme of the hotel alive. There's a gym on the third floor and of course I forgot to film it. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna just have to trust me that it's a great gym or just book a stay and check it out for yourself. The ground floor of the hotel has quite a few restaurants and fast food joints, which cater mostly to the baseball game foot traffic. Check out my Chicago playlist for where you should actually go eat. I stopped into a coffee shop and bakery on the first floor, which has free hot coffee if you show your room key. These cake pops were so rich and chocolatey. They're so good, I really want to go back and get some more. This may be the most dog-friendly hotel I've ever stayed at. There's no pet fee for the stay, and the hotel provides a welcome bag for your dog. The welcome bag came with a ball, large treat, and a blue bandana with the print of Wrigley Field. The waiver you sign at check-in indicates that well-behaved dogs can stay in the room alone. However, you must return to the hotel promptly if there are noise complaints. There weren't too many trash cans on the sidewalks outside, so just be mindful when planning your dog's walking route. The neighborhood surrounding the hotel is obviously Wrigleyville. Sports fans will probably recognize many of the streets like Waveland, Sheffield, Clark, and Addison, which border the ballpark. If you stroll around the perimeter of the ballpark, you'll stumble on statues honoring legends affiliated with the Cubs franchise, as well as some of the unique buildings with bleacher seating on the roof. You can enjoy a free event like summer movie nights on Wednesdays in the Gallagher Way Entertainment Complex, 
while having a burger from Small Cheval. Nearby is the rest of Lakeview, including the Southport Corridor, as well as the Boys Town neighborhood on North Halstead. And of course, there's Lake Michigan and all its beauty just to the east. To see more of the city, I'd recommend the tours at Bobby's Bikes and Hikes. We signed up for the four hour long Bikes, Bites, and Brews tour of the north side of Chicago. This tour is offered twice daily in the late morning and again in the late afternoon. We signed up for the 1130 tour, which starts in the Streeterville neighborhood downtown. For about $100 a person, including fees, you can bike 13 miles around the Gold Coast Lincoln Park, and Lakeview neighborhoods, sampling pizza, cupcakes, Chicago dogs, and beer along the way. Our guide, Lizzie, was fantastic as she guided us through the streets and shared interesting stories and facts along the way. At one point, the tour goes right past the Hotel Zachary as the ride passes through Wrigleyville. The tour stops at Luminati's in the Gold Coast for a sample slice of pizza and a local beer. Next stop is Lincoln Park, the park, to the statue of Abe, our 16th president. The ride then jumps into Lincoln Park, the neighborhood, and stops at Molly's Cupcakes, which are literally my favorite cupcakes anywhere. They have a nice icing center. They're just perfect. They have locations in Chicago and also in New York. There's a connection to teachers, which is why each of their stores resembles a classroom. Next stop is at Wrigleyville Dogs to try an authentic Chicago dog, which basically is a hot dog with everything on it except ketchup. It's Chicago. Never put ketchup on high quality meat. The final stop is in Wrigleyville at Murphy's Bleachers, which is an iconic bar located just below the outfield gate of the ballpark. There's Cubs paraphernalia all over the walls, and the tour includes a tasting of two different local Chicago beers. Our guide explains several of the photos and critical moments in Cubs history that are memorialized on the walls of this bar. There were several opportunities for pictures, including the finale ride down the lakefront path back to the bike shop in Streeterville. Our guide offered to take everyone's photo in front of the Wrigley sign and again along Lake Michigan with the dramatic backdrop of the skyline. I loved the vibe of this hotel. The neighborhood location was a refreshing change from the crowded River North and Loop Hotel districts. Would you stay at this hotel? Would you do this bike tour? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to my channel for more city guides and hotel reviews and check out one of these recommended videos popping up next.